Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones Edition. What you are looking at is a split picture. Half of the picture is missing. This is the Dance of Dragons scenario. This is uh we haven't played we haven't had this one yet on the on the channel. And I just got done recording the other series for Roose Bolton, and I figured, well, we're already doing one Game of Thrones this week. Why not try another potential series that you guys might enjoy? And I was looking at the different uh, bookmarks. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten any new bookmarks yet. It's been kind of on the back of my mind. I've been worrying about other games and stuff. So I took a look at the different bookmarks available and uh, just to see which one was the most interesting to me. Just for a kind of change of pace. And uh, the Dance of Dragons really stood out to me. Uh, I think that was because for a second I was considering on playing as uh, Aegon the Conqueror. But I thought, you know what, we just got done killing Aegon and wiping out the Targaryen dynasty. Uh, let's not do that one. But instead, let's do a bookmark that happens, I think... A, 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 I don't Actually, I don't know how much later the Dance of Dragons happens from the initial conquest of Westeros. I don't know. All I know about the Dance of Dragons is that there are still our dragons around, and it becomes this crazy dragon civil war. It is awesome. If you can... I mean, if you don't know anything about it, you could look it up, the uh, animated lore and stuff about it on YouTube. It's a lot of fun. But... And I've played this series once before as Rhaenyra Targaryen, and the reason I did that is because... Uh, well, I, I thought, it's it's a really stupid reason, but I found her to be pretty attractive. Her little portrait right here, I know, that's really sad, okay? Just, let's move past it, <laughs> let's move past it. But that's why I played as her, and I was actually able to win the Civil War. It was close, though. It was a really close Civil War. So I thought, hey, you know, that might be interesting for you guys to see. Let's see if we can't win the War of Dragons as, uh... Ooh, maybe we should play as Aegon this time. Because I won as Rhaenyra before. Let's see. Hold, let, 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 let's see. Upon King Viserys' death in 129 AL, the Lord Commander of the King's Guard, Sir Criston Cole, later called the Kingmaker, defies the late king's will that named his daughter Princess Rhaenyra as his heir and instead crowns her younger brother, Prince Aegon, as King Aegon II. A civil war between Aegon II Targaryen and Rhaenyra Targaryen for control of the Iron Throne erupts, later known as the Dance of Dragons, and it will be quite the dance. Born to Queen Consort Alicent Hightower, second wife to the late King Viserys I, Aegon II was second to his elder sister Rhaenyra Targaryen in the line of succession. However, at the bidding of King's Guard Commander Kristen Cole, Aegon supplanted the crown following his father's death and, supported by the Greens, began the Dance of Dragons. So for all intents and purposes, Aegon II doesn't seem like he actually has a legit claim on the throne. Like, it doesn't seem like he should be the king whatsoever. And it's kind of weird that everyone's kind of like, meh, okay. I think, I think the reason that people were, were okay with it is probably because they didn't care if the Targaryens tore themselves apart. Because if you think about it, the Targaryens had fucking dragons. So their control, their dominion of the land was pretty much completely uncontested. So, who can beat a dragon but another dragon? Un well, I mean, other than golden lions, but other dragons would. So... I think Westeros probably thought, meh, we don't care if the Targaryens tear themselves apart because they've been kind of ruling roughshod over everyone else. And then Rhaenyra, the first and only surviving child of Queen Aema Arryn, she was named heir to the throne by her father Viserys I. However, a plot began to place her younger brother Aegon II on the throne while she was confined to belly swollen on Dragonstone, determined to seize her rightful place and the backing of the Blacks. She would take her seat with fire and blood. God damn it. Now I don't know. Like, I want to play as... I've already played as her and I've won. I haven't played as Aegon and won. But I don't really want to play as Aegon because I don't like him. Shit. That's a tough decision. That is a tough, tough decision. But you know what? I've already I've already beaten the game. Beaten the game. Won the Dance of Dragons with Rhaenyra. It's time that I win it now with Aegon II. He's probably going to suck as a character too. He probably will. All right, make sure I got my rules all set up. Do not name this if you don't want to know what it is. Off? Uh, whatever. 
What the hell does this mean? If you want to avoid certain a dance with dragon spoilers in pre a fire Whatever. I don't know what any of that means. Sweet. We're gonna fight with dragons now. I am King Aegon the Second of the Iron Throne of House Targaryen, and I will make my ancestors proud. I have the Targaryen bloodline. How blasphemous. Uh, sweet. Okay. So in the canon, Aegon the Second won the Dance of Dragons. When I played through this, I won as Rhaenyra. Now we will see if I can win as Aegon the Second. So before we begin all of this, before we begin, okay, I got new Blackfire. I don't know who that is. Don't know who you are. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, I've got three children. In. Oh. Okay. I want to Queen Helena. Oh. And she rides a fucking dragon too. Or at least it says she does. All right. So I want to win the war. That is my main focus. His traits, lustful, proud, cruel, slot. Yeah, he's got some pretty bad traits. Pretty bad traits, but we're gonna go with war. Uh, Prince Jaehaerys. I ride a dragon, don't I? Uh, I? It says I do, but it says I do, but I guess we have to wait for, here we go, here we go. The Dance of the Dragons. My father, King Viserys, is an obvious, is, is, Wait, wait, wait. My father, King Viserys, in an obvious contravention of all laws and customs, always intended for my half-sister Rhaenyra to succeed him as queen. The loyal Kristen Cole of the King's Guard has wisely had me crowned as king, prompting Rhaenyra to take up arms against me. Now, as the Dance of Dragons begins, it is time for the Lords of Paramount to prove their loyalty. Fire and blood. Okay, I'm the blood of old Valyria. Yes, we are. All hail his grace. Okay. Now then, uh, why, y Lord Commander Kristen the Kingmaker, why are you in my hand of the king? Because oh, he has the best treasury skill, a fucking course. All right, Kristen, you stay here and you oversee the realm. Uh, let's see, Lord Donald, you stay here and train my troops. Let's get a good master of coin. Well, well not, I wouldn't say he's that good, but it's okay, it's okay, it's enough. Lord Laris, you do that. Go ahead and perform some charity here. Just doing a bunch of housekeeping stuff. Where's my wife, Helena? Your brother, Prince Amon, the One-Eye. Is that guy, is he the one on our side, or... Is he on my side? I don't know. He's my friend. He's my friend. Okay. Is Alice Rivers. Interesting. And he rides... Vagar. Yeah, I think he rides the biggest dragon there is. Which is pretty freaking awesome. How about I betroth you to uh, my daughter? Sure, you know, because Targaryens do crazy shit like that. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, is she married? She is. To Daemon. And Daemon rides Caraxes. That's not the... Uh, Rhaenyra has got someone who rides a dragon in her court, but... um. I forget. You know, this is this is how we'll look it up. We'll look it up like this. Choose a patron aspect. Or right, we'll do that in a second. Show me the dragons. Okay, dragon riders, wild dragons, untamed dragons. Okay. Let's see. Two are located in King's Landing. Two are located in Dragonstone. Wild dragons, gray ghost located in Dragonstone, cannibal. All right, so she's got a lot more dragons in Dragonstone. I think once I win the war, I might I might move my capital to Dragonstone. And the reason that is is because they've got Dragonmont. Dragonmont is a volcano on the island of Dragonstone, the activity of which gave rise to the island. The castle of Dragonstone is a small fortress located located on the face of the volcano. The volcano is still active with pale gray steam rising from its hot fence, and beneath it are large amounts of dragon glass. Dragons located in this province thrive in the heat of the volcano, giving size, growth, and life expectancy. So it's a huge bonus for dragons. Yes, and then dragon eggs. Your cousin Rhaenyra Targaryen Invis. Okay, so she's got dra she's got dragons up the wazoo, right? She's got dragons all over the place. I have Amon who rides 
who rides Vagar. Yes. Who does she have? I, and, I, and I ride... Who, what do I ride? I ride Sunfire. Kind of a younger dragon. Dragon, you know. Who... I do, yeah, Damon. Her husband. He rides... Caraxes. Okay. I see. Now then, as far as this war is going... Oh, wow. <laughs> she has a lot of people supporting her. <laughs> Do, does she have any... Um, I see a lot of... Lo oh, no, I see the kingdom. I saw a kingdom. I saw a kingdom there. I, she, okay, the kingdom of the Vale is supporting Rhaenyra Targaryen. Um, kingdom of the Iron Isles. Oh, great. The God damn the... Uh, the Red Kraken has sided with Rhaenyra. Damn it. So he'll no doubt be attacking uh, the Westerlands. Who do I have? I have the Westerlands. Okay. Do I have anything else? Kingdom of the Three Daughters. Okay, yeah, so... How is this going to work? Let's see. Leading troops in North Crackclaw. Where is North Crackclaw? Up here. Okay. So I'm leading my own troops. Yes? Okay. I guess what we could do is just try to fight Rhaenyra in battle. What is this? Lord Paramount Boros of the Stormlands. Excellent. So the Stormlands is on our side now. Great. So the Stormlands is on our side. Uh, the Reach is... Oh my gosh, what is this? More troops of mine, led by my wife, my 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 wife, and she rides Dreamfire. Ooh, okay. We need to combine our forces. March, yeah, march your army, or maybe we should fight them down here. To wage a little two pronged, a little two pronged war. One war over here in the Crown Lands, another little war down here. Uh, there on our side is. Dorn going to join us? Probably not. Okay. But that's what the... I think that's what the strategy is going to be. We're, we're going to... At age 34, your acquaintance Hugh Hammer... Okay. Was killed by Amond Targaryen in an epic dragon duel. Really? Was killed by Amond... Uh, news from Griffin's Roost, Your Grace. During the war in the Iron Throne, the dragon riders Hugh Hammer, rider of Verminthor, and Prince Amond Targaryen. Who's Prince Amond? He's on my side, right? I think he is. A rider of Vagar met in fierce combat, driving their dragons to tear each other apart relentlessly. Prince Amond and Vagar prevailed, killing Verminthor. What a dance that must have been, I'm sure. Uh, Verminthor, the Bronze Fury, is dead. What about Vagar? Is Vagar wounded? No, didn't even get wounded. Awesome. Great. So that's so that's that's great for us. News from uh, Griff Griffin's Roost. Uh, the daughters, the dragon riders, Sir Lucerus Valerion, rider of Arax, and Vagar killed Arax. Well, Arax is only four, 14. and he's dead too, right? Imprisoned by King Aegon. No, but he is mangled though. Okay. So this is a little scenario that happened during the 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 um fuck what was it the Dance of Dragons and I think I think it was Lucerus Valerion who flew down to Storm's End to try to get the loyalty of the Stormlands for uh what's her face Rhaenyra Targaryen uh, but uh well Prince Aemond ambushed him there and kills him so that's cool sweet actually yeah so we got a, little, a couple of battles are winning. We hold Lucerus Valerion as a prisoner. Oh. He's not going to last long, though. He won't last long because uh, he's he's mangled pretty badly. A fierce duel broke out between the Sir Lucerus Valerion and in the skies over King's Landing. And, oh, okay. Interesting. And now we're fighting, and I've got to my dragons, and I'm burning people alive, which is awesome. Awesome. Vassal inheritance warning. Oh, I got a bunch of shit. Deploy dragon in battle. Let's not do that. Let's choose a patron aspect. Let's see. Learning. Warrior. We'll pick the warrior. Um, idle council members. Let's see. 
Improve diplomatic relations with... Who would be good? I, I guess. High Garden? I don't fucking know. I don't care. Right. Amond will be my regent. Make Alice the court jester. Hand out our titles. I kind of just want to make all this shit go away because it's kind of annoying me. Amond will be my cupbearer. All right. And then we'll just pick you and we'll do auto assign commanders so I don't have to do that shit again. And we've got some people who don't like me. That's fine. Whatever. Amond will be on the council as well as Alicent, my mother. Great. That's going away. One children lacks a focus. We'll make him do struggle because we need him to be a great warrior. Set crown focus. All right. So we'll disable this. And I don't need to be told about special actions. Great. Let the war continue. The war for King's Landing and the Iron Throne. A vacancy has become available. Bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. Sir Duncan Hayford. Okay. Lord Tyland. Lord Tyland Lannister. Who has the best combat ability? You! Excellent. Uh, ah, ah. All right, see, they're marching to Hayford. You're marching to Rayonette. Where is this bitch? Claw Cape. Where is Claw Cape? Is this Claw Cape? No, it's Claw Isle. Where is Claw Cape? Well, I don't need to guess. I can just do this. Ah, so she is on... Oh, no, she's in ships. Holy shit. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Get here right now. ASAP. Maybe we can get the... Maybe we can get... What and and Princess Rhaenyra? Oh shit! She's coming straight for King's Landing. Oh shit! Oh no. Okay. Yeah, raising my levies probably not a great idea. Um, must must m muster all the forces. Muster the forces quickly. And then you guys can just uh yeah we'll do that. Let's see. Princess Rhaenyra will suffer from a naval landing. My god, I hope this works out well. I hope this works out well. Come on. Oh no, she's changing. She's changed position. Yeah, of course she has. What we got going on over here? Who's landing? Triarchy Fleet the Three Daughters. Interesting. Okay. Now, muster our troops. Excellent. Uh, wait, what's going on? Is she not landing? She is still landing. Okay. We must intercept. Don't let her land. We really need her to land, though, because if she lands, then we can crush them. And a, and a, and a battle with dragons in the sky. I'm pretty sure as long as Prince Amond is with me, I think I think we win. But he's actually not with me at the moment, so we'll have to... We'll have to deal with that. I want her, my s sister wife, to come back to King's Landing. Okay, great. And Morgan has been captured. March on this force here. Where is Prince Amond? Ooh. Very nice. I can have all my dragons. Let's deploy all dragons. Ransom all prisoners. Let's not do that. Open council positions. High Admiral. Okay. Show me. Show me this High Admiral. There we go. Alright, so. Deploying all dragons. Fire everything. Where is Rhaenyra now? A dragon's entered the world. Reyna Targaryen, my cousin. Okay. Not really good for us. Arra arra arranged marriage between Alice Rivers and Lord Paramount Grover. I don't think, um, I don't think Amond would like that. We're going to decline. Because they're lovers, and I don't want to piss off uh, Prince Amond. There we go. Release all the dragons. Crush that force. Excellent. And all of you, merge together and march here. Where did that bitch land? Where did she go? Uh, leading troops in Grandview. Really? Apparently, apparently she's a one-woman army. 
<laughs> That's insane. All right. Uh, and I see another large army from Tarth here, so we're going to march down here. We're going to crush them. There's a lot of small armies here. Oh, snap. Well, we probably lost Harrenhal. I, I didn't see my forces right there. Shit. Okay. Are the Ironborn invading? They don't seem like they are. Okay. Come on, King Aegon. Maybe we can come to some kind of agreement? You know, oh, there is no white piece. I see. Well... It is what it is, I suppose. Hey, there they are! It's the Ironborn! Okay. Yeah, that's right. You stay right there. And they're gonna reinforce, but it doesn't matter because we got fucking dragons. Sweet. Destroy them all. Oh, that's scary. Okay. Devastating their forces. Excellent. You know, let's not march there because there's a huge army of 10,000 marching towards the capital. Uh, that's not good. And now I and now I have 10,000. No, wait, no I don't. Okay. At age your grandfather Otto Hightower died. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Where did that Oh, 9,000. Uh-oh, they're fighting at the Targaryens. Not the Targaryens, the Lannisters. God damn it. <laughs> Quickly. Oh, shit. We're not going to get there in time. Shit. Oh, we might we might be able to. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Just hold them. Hold. Oh, you sons of bitches. These goddamn Ironborn. Jaharis wanted to learn how to whistle. After trying for a while, he asked me, how come you can do it? It's easy. You can do it, too. Has a high chance of gaining brooding. Not everyone can do it. I don't want him to be timid. Jaharis seems a bit frustrated by, by his failed attempts. He doesn't seem to respond well to my encouraging words. You so oh, goddamn Ironborn. The land is consumed by Dragonfire and Amon Targaryen of the Iron Throne is responsible for this. Tell me, can we still catch them? Can we still catch them? Are we going to catch them? Come on. Come on. There we go. That's what I want to see. My studies and training have caught me. We need to change my haircut. My hairstyle is bothering the hell out of me. Let's pick something good. There's something good. And uh, ridiculous sideburns. Sure. That'll work. That's a lot better. Uh, let's see. Um, what am I leading? I'm leading a flank, aren't I? Yes. How flanking the enemy is tried and true. F oh, snap. Flying high above the fighting armies, the dragon rider Princess Rhaenyra leads a dive attack on you and your allies. She will perish. You meet Princess Rhaenyra, rider of Cyrax in dragon combat. combat. Let's see. Okay, so it's the first clash of the dragons. It's the first clash. It's 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 Princess Rhaenyra is attacking me with Sir Adam Sea Smoke, and I am supported by Queen Helena and Dreamfire and Prince Amond and Vagar. So we outnumber them in terms of just how many dragons there are, but she's got Cyrax, who is fifty seven years old. Sunfire the Golden, which is only thirty nine. I really hope Sunfire survives because I like that name. That's a cool name. Sunfire the Golden. And then Helena rides Dreamfire, which is, who is 94. Great. Prince Amon rides Vagar, of course, the Titan, who is 180. And then there's Sir Adam Valerion, who rides Sea Smoke, who's 54. It looks like the odds are in our favor, but they might not be. And this is all happening over the sky, in the skies over Bram's Fort. She will perish. This this is it, guys. This is this will determine the 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 dance of dragons here. In this battle, a new phase of fighting begins, and after a long charge, the dragons meet in vicious combat, clawing at each other's flesh and sending red-hot dragon flame to try and burn the enemy's, enemy riders. The armies below watch in awe as this dance unfolds. We shall cast them down. <laughs> Princess Rhaenyra and her allies struggle to compete with your dragon's relentless attacks, several times almost falling from the sky. Now they are at our mercy. And we can dive in for the kill. Dracarys. 
Holy shit, you pick out Sea Smoke, and judge he and its rider can be finished off. You and Sunfire dive headlong into them, sending them crashing into the ground whilst your dragon tears them apart. They are left dazed with Sea Smoke's lifeless corpse sprawled on the ground. Fire and blood. Holy shit, we killed Sea Smoke. Sunfire killed Sea Smoke. That's fucking awesome. Sea Smoke dies. We gain 40 prestige. Oh, but there is a 20% chance that Sunfire gets wounded. I don't I don't want that to happen. I don't want that. Let's see. Oh shit, and there's a chance that we get hurt too. Okay, we need to take we need to take account of what happened. We didn't get wounded. Did Sunfire get wounded? No, we got out of that utterly unscathed. Holy shit. That's one dragon now, so now it's Rhaenyra and Cyrax against the three of us. A new phase of fighting begins, and we call at each other. The armies watch below. We shall cast them down. We meet Princess Rhaenyra and Cyrax. And Cyrax is a lot older. No, he's actually not. He's 57. No, he's not that much older. In fact, he's, he's roughly the same age as uh, as um, Sea Smoke was. She's done. It's over. It's over! Princess Rhaenyra and her allies struggle to compete with your dragon's relentless attacks, several times almost falling from the sky. Now they're at our mercy, and we can dive in for the kill. Dracarys. At age 32, your rival Princess Rhaenyra of the Iron Throne was killed by Aemon Targaryen in an epic dragon duel. Where the hell was her husband? Because Daemon rides Caraxes, and he should have been there. Damn. Cyrax and her rider are left weakened and vulnerable, and Vagar does not hesitate in finishing them off. Vagar dives at them, crashing into them at great speed. They are ripped apart and eventually crash into the ground and are left dazed. Cyrax is now a lifeless corpse. That, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you win the Dance of Dragons. <laughs> That's how you win. <laughs> It's all about dragons, and if you get... And it, you have to be kind of intelligent in how you use your dragons. Rhaenyra Targaryen shouldn't have been... She shouldn't have been bouncing around to these little different armies. She should have been, you know, had her... Her and her husband, who was also her brother, and whoever else. Like, she had more dragons. So if she had just kept her dragons consolidated together... She could have had her more veteran dragons take us out... And then have her more minor dragons kind of like work on taking out the little forces all around. Like that's what I would have done. That's what I would have done. Um, unfortunately, uh, I mean, as long as Prince Amond is alive with Vagar, uh, Aegon the Second has a really, really good chance of winning. But as soon as Vagar goes down, or or or, 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 or Prince Amond dies, it's over for Aegon the Second. It's over. So that's it. The duel is over. The enemy dragons have finally been cast down. Their armies lose heart at the sight of the spectacle, and now can turn. And now you can turn your attention to them. Our names shall live as legend. Indeed, indeed. Utterly decimated them. And we've got more incoming. We've got a lot more incoming. No, you guys march here. Reinforce us. <laughs> Reinforce us. Who is this, Lord Jacaris? You fucking, you, you ride a 14-year-old dragon. Oh, come on. Come on, the war's over. <laughs> this is surrender. Enforce demands. He won't because I've already won. Give up now. You have not won, you son of a bitch. You haven't won. You haven't won shit. Oh, shit. Well, this is interesting. Why are my... Why why are we not leading the battle? What the fuck is this? We're not leading the battle. What what is this? What is this shit? This castle but we'll be safest here. We will be safe. What the what the fuck was that? Why were my minor generals leading? Yeah, that's that's bullshit. What the fuck was that? I have 10,000 men though. Interesting. 
Lord Jacaris has imprisoned my cousin Reyna for opposition. Wow. And he killed her. Was beheaded. Jesus Christ. Let's see. Apparently, they're all marching with me, though, right? Okay, as long as the army of Sir Quentin doesn't abandon us, we can march on the capital. Okay, so I'm going to have to wrap this episode up here. Some interesting things have happened. Rhaenyra Targaryen is now dead. The enemy no longer has any dragons that we need to worry about. But the army has lots and lots of armies now surrounding the capital. Which you'd think we would have no problem defeating. Except in the battle for Bramsfort, the game did this weird thing where it kind of booted out all of my dragon riders from the position of commander. And we lost the battle. Which we shouldn't have, because dragons can be armies that are many times larger than them. So I have no clue what the fuck that's about. This army's going to King's Landing, too. You guys can march here, too? No, you can't. You can march nowhere. Why can't you march? In? Oh, because they're retreating. Okay. Well, if that's the case... When do you arrive? On the 26th? Oh, they're going to arrive, like, right now. Okay. Take this army. Amass them. Morale's kind of low. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Morale's kind of low. Morale's kind of low. And the en enemy is going to be dogpiling King's Landing here in a second. But that's okay, because I think they're going to start taking attrition. They already are, because they just have too many troops. And I don't think they're going to take King's Landing here... Not anytime soon, so that we can build up our morale and attack with our dragon army and officially destroy their armies. Because now, the opposition's being led by my nephew, Lord Jacaris. Okay. Alright. Well, that that's a brief summary of the first episode of the Dance of Dragons. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, uh, like, share, and all that stuff. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this series in the comments below. And, uh, until next time... Well, first of all, this has been Crusader Kings 2, The Dance of the Dragons, and until next time, I will see you all later.